Before we get started, uh, Rolo here wanted to say hi. This is the new baby we just found. Actually, a week ago from whenever I'm filming this video. So it'll probably be like a couple of weeks whenever this video gets released. But yeah, this is the new guy. Her, his name is Rolo. We found him. We chased him down for like 30 minutes. He was running around like a crazy guy going into the streets. We finally were able to catch him. Went to the vet. No microchip. Whoops. He's not neutered. So we are going to get to working with this guy. And he's officially now ours. And he's been adjusting really good with his three new siblings. We have no clue where he came from. My idea is probably the same thing that happened to Romulus, which again, it's just assuming. I think that someone might have just dropped him off on the street and then left. Because he is not from here, no one has claimed him, and we've asked around, it's just no one has seen him. So that's what I think, someone probably just dropped him off. The other option is that he ran from, you know, he escaped, just, you know, opened the door or something because he is pretty fast. That's another option. So anyway, let's get right into the video. So let me put Rolo down. Bye, Rolo. He's my little fox. He looks just like a little fox. Let me show you his tail. <laughs> He's our new little baby fox. Yes, you are. So after Rolo's introduction, let me go ahead and introduce myself. My name is Rita and I do makeup, beauty, lifestyle videos here on my channel. So if that sounds like something you would be interested, definitely consider subscribing. All you need to do is hit the little red button that down here that says subscribe. So that way you'll be subscribed and you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. So for today, we're going to be doing a favorites. So I do have a little baggie with all my favorites and a couple of things here. Uh, in front of me so I did film this makeup look using the products I'll be showing them as we speak doing of them. Kind of like makeup application the very first thing before makeup is gonna be my skincare and I've been loving loving this moisturizer this is by pharmacy the honey halo so I've had this for a long time but I just opened it because I had some others in use I have for reference more on the normal to dry skin even in the summer right now we're you know almost at the end of summer my skin is still very dry especially around my nose and mouth area this has been such a dream i love it it gives me a ton of moisture without being sticky without being greasy it goes on very smooth that texture is kind of like a more like a like a soft souffle kind of uh formula i don't know how to explain it but it doesn't feel like a cream especially not a thick cream which i love so it gives me all the moisture i need but it doesn't feel greasy on my face because right now that it's hotter really really hot especially here in texas i can get a little bit oily on my t-zone but still be dry which makes absolutely no sense to me so i've been using this morning and night i see myself getting this over and over because it is such a good one it's probably been my favorite moisturizer that i've tried in a very very long time as my makeup base i've been loving using the lisa eldridge elevated glow i've got mine in the shade cosmic rose I just love using this product before my makeup or sometimes even mixed in with my foundation. So depending on the foundation I'm using, I'll either first go all over my face like you're seeing in this video right now. So I'll just uh, center this on the kind of like higher points of my face and then I'll just go in with foundation. But in some other cases when the foundation is a little bit more on the matte side and a little bit more thicker foundation I'll just mix the foundation with this and then basically apply it all over my face I've been really loving it both as a base for makeup and then also of course as a highlight I feel like this foundation was definitely very popularized because of Tati at least that's also the reason why I got it I saw her video a little while ago maybe like two three months and I just ran to get it this is the Catrice true skin hydrating foundation it is such a beautiful foundation. It's like the perfect satin. It gives you medium coverage. So you're not going to expect like full coverage, but honestly, it is such a buildable foundation that you can definitely add a little bit more coverage. For my personal liking, it's just the perfect kind of like um, 
finish and foundation and the perfect coverage. I really like it. It goes on very smoothly, very easily to blend on your skin and it just gives you that beautiful natural looking face which is what I love in makeup. I never like my makeup to look makeup-y. Like I don't like people like whenever someone sees me in real life I want people to be like oh well her face is so flawless but naturally not like oh wow look at her she has a ton of makeup going on which of course I have a ton of makeup going on but especially my skin I want my skin to look as natural but enhanced as it can and I feel like this foundation definitely gives me that this has been my go-to powder and I am so happy I got it it was literally just me on that same video that I did at drugstore that I'll leave down below that drugstore full face I went into Ulta and I was trying to pinch pennies I wanted to see how much products I could get for the least amount of money so I did go on and get the Essence My Skin Perfector Loose Powder and you guys this has been such a dream if you're new to my channel you probably don't know this but I've been obsessed with the Hourglass uh, the Loose Powder for a very long time that was the only powder I used for months so whenever I bought this, my hourglass hasn't even been in my radar. I've just been loving this powder. It kind of gives me that same hourglass feel. So it'll just cover, you know, uh, not cover. It'll powder whatever I need to powder. But it gives this beautiful finish to the face that it's just, it's just beautiful. I really, really love it. And this is super affordable. I don't remember exactly how much I paid for it for this, but I don't think it was more than $7. So if you have a Catrice, um, in, I'm sorry, an Essence in your Ulta, definitely check it out because this is such a good powder. Speaking of Essence, I am a little sad and angry at myself that I never looked more into this brand because their uh, face products have just been bomb. This is another one that I got for that same drugstore video. The Essence Sun Club Luminous Bronzing Powder. You guys, this is going to be the most beautiful, glowy bronzer without being uh, glittery, without being shiny. It's just, it gives that beautiful kind of like um, glow from within, if that makes sense. Like glow from within bronzer. It's just so beautiful. I am obsessed with this bronzer. I feel like I haven't been able to put it down because it's just it's just perfection it's very blendable it's very smooth to the touch it just feels like butter like whenever you touch it it just feels super buttery and i mean it's such a huge product look at the, the size of this bronzer and it's again one of those so so affordable products that you're like how is this even possible i mentioned the same thing on my drugstore video whenever i tried it for the first time like if you change the packaging and you were charging me $50 for this product, I would be perfectly fine with it. I would be like, this product is so worth it. Like it's such a good one. It feels so luxurious and I'm not going back. This is I think that the was my best. last drugstore product. So for the next one, we've got a new release from this year, but it's been a while. This was back in February. This is the Natasha Denona, the Love Chick Duo. This is just my perfect shade of blush that I've been loving and using for s probably some months at this point, more than two months. This is just a stunning blush. I feel like it's perfect for the summer. I've been loving it and then paired with this beautiful more pinkish tone highlight. I just love it. So whenever I'm not using this as a highlight, I'll go with this one. And really how I've been using it lately, as you're probably just also viewing here in the demo, I'll go in with my Lisa Eldridge on the bottom, just kind of like as my highlight first base, and then I'll top it off with this beautiful blush. I feel like together or of course by themselves, they're just beautiful. But yeah, this is just a beautiful little uh, duo that I've been enjoying so, so much gonna lie I haven't used as much eyeshadow and whenever I do I've been using more of the eyes to mesmerize by Charlotte Tilbury but I feel like I've been so repetitive about using those little individual shadows that I didn't want to mention them again but definitely some of my favorites like that's just been on my eyes constantly in the past probably two or three months but taking apart those little uh, individual shadows I've been loving 
this little quad. This one is going to be the Star Aura. This is just the Flawless Eye Filter, also by Charlotte Tilbury. This was released this year, I believe, at the beginning of the year, if I'm not mistaken. I do have a review on this. I'll leave it down below and I'll probably put a card up here. This is just such a simple palette. Like you would think, okay, what's so exciting about this? It is a different formula. So it's not her usual formula like in all her quads. This one is a special formula and I really like it. It's going to give you that beautiful shine. I'll get a little bit closer so you can see. And of course you have the demo. But it is just, just perfection. I feel like this gives you that ultimate Charlotte Tilbury makeup look like if you go with this palette I feel like your makeup is just going to be so beautiful the eyeshadows are blendable they are so easy to just grab your brush throw it in your eyes and you're good to go and you get a beautiful eye look every single time so this is just a basic of course it's going to be your very neutral shades so if you are not really into neutrals or you have a ton of neutrals, this might not something be something that you're excited about. But I promise you, if you try it, you're going to fall in love with it. And it's going to be... This has been my go-to. Like, if I'm not using the eyes to mesmerize, like the little individual ones, I'll go for this one. And I just love my makeup every single So my go-to brow product has definitely been the Anastasia Brow Freeze. This is just something that has given me the best eyebrows. I feel like... Lately, I've been just loving and being obsessed with just feathery brows. So I've been using this kind of feathery brows for months at this point, And this just perfected that. Because before this, I was using another product that was the same idea of kind of like a gel. But it wasn't as good as this one. Once I tried this one, there's no looking back. It is so good for that feathery brow. So if you're into that look, definitely consider getting this because it is just the perfect product to feather up your brows to make them freeze so they won't move and then you just go in with you know either a pomade which i've also been really liking or just like a pen and drawing everything in i just love it this is not going anywhere and i am so so happy i got I have a couple of lip products that i've been loving uh different formulas entirely so one that's gonna be more of like a satin very sheer formula and then one that's more pigmented more on the matte side but this is the most comfortable matte it's kind of like a soft matte this is by rare beauty in the shade shade motivate i just love this i didn't want to use it again because i just uh filmed another video where i'm using it so i kind of like wanted to not be so repetitive but i've definitely been loving this and then kitten mischief this is by lisa eldridge from her newest collection this is just my go-to. It's like the perfect everyday nude for me. It gives you that beautiful satin. It's so comfortable on the lips. I just I just love this formula and this shade specifically. And it is, of course, what I'm wearing today. And then to top off this lipstick, I've been loving pairing it with Fussy by Fenty Beauty. It's a tried and true. I know like everyone knows and loves this product. It's for a reason it's so beautiful but what i've been liking to do it's just kind of like place it in the center of my lips instead of like all over i feel like that gives it just a bit more of like um like a more juicy pout whenever you just do it in the middle compared to all across the board so this has been these three have been my favorite lipsticks and to finish up i've got my perfume of choice i literally have not used any other perfume since I got this. This one is Wild Poppy by Nest Fragrances. I got this a while back for like getting a new summery scent. I think this was right after I turned cruelty free or be right before. I think it was before. So this wasn't really intended for cruelty free. I just wanted a new perfume that was going to be summery, springy summery. And I got this and oh my goodness you guys. This is such a good smell. I've been loving it for so, such a long time. Even whenever I shower at night, I'll go to bed and I put this on because I just love waking up and smelling. It's just such a good one. If you're uh, looking for a new summery perfume, even though summer is about to be, you know, gone, I highly recommend this one. It smells really, really good and of course it's cruel. Okay guys, so that's gonna be it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please be sure to hit the little red button to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!